when you do the Newton computer homework, you'll see uh, some problems just like these. And so I've got um, four of these that are true or false. And so what I'd like you to do is pause and try to answer all six of these. There's first four are true or false, and the last two are fill in the blank. So pause now and think about it and write down your answers. All right, welcome back. I hope you did it. The best way to learn is to be actively learning. You gotta make your mind think about it. Don't just listen to me. So I hope you did that. Um, but let's think it through now. So here we are. We're looking at negative 3. What does that little minus say? Okay, we're approaching negative 3. So here's the negative 3. So right here, x equals negative 3. And so there's a broken place in the graph. There's an asymptote here. There's a, a gap. There is no output at negative 3. So y has no answer when x is negative 3. But it does have answers near x equals negative 3. And so what this problem says is x moves from the left to negative 3. What is y doing? Well, here's a y answer very close. To so when x is very close to negative 3, I got a y answer. As I get closer and closer and closer, y is going down to negative infinity. So x is going to negative 3, y is going down to negative infinity. So this problem said positive infinity, which makes that statement a false statement. Let's look at the next one. Okay, uh, 1. Uh, here we are, x equals 1. Here is another asymptote. So when x is 1, there is no output in this graph, in this function. And it shows it in the graph with this broken gap. And so we've got these split branches. Now, it says positive. So we're going to look at x's. How do x's approach the x equals 1? And then what is the answer? So for that one, x is approaching 1 from the right side. That's what the plus means here. And so as x approaches uh, as x approaches 1 from the right side, what are the y's doing, the behavior of the y's? Well, at 2, y is way up here. And then when y x gets closer, y is here. x gets closer to 1, y keeps moving down. So y is going to negative infinity. And so that actually is true over here. I don't want to put that mark there. So that makes that statement a true statement. All right, here is another one. Now this time the behavior is a different behavior we're looking at. Uh, this time we're looking at x going to infinity. So here's my x's. They're following on the x-axis to infinity. And as x's do, I'm going to erase these dots. So when x is 2, y is here. When x is 3, y is here. When x is 4, y, y, y. So all these y numbers are leveling out at this number 4. The y number is approaching 4. And that's what it's supposed to do. According to that statement, that would be true. Okay, one more true-false. Let's look at x going to negative 3 again. So, let's go back here. Rethink this problem. So, with this statement, I'm supposed to be looking at negative 3. Okay, here's negative 3. x is negative 3. I'm approaching it from the left. That's what the, the negative over here is telling me. So as x approaches negative 3, then, well, let's say we start at negative 5. y is up here. At negative, when x is negative 4, y is here. When x is negative 3.5, y is here. 
And the closer my number gets to negative 3, the y numbers keep going down to, oops, to negative 3, infinity. And so that would make that actually a true statement. Okay, next, let's do some fill in the blank. So, we've got a couple more. This time we want to look at uh, x going to negative 3 again. All right, here's our x equals negative 3, but we're approaching it from the right side. So the x's are coming closer and closer to negative 3, coming from the right to negative 3, and when x is like negative 2, that's getting close to negative 3. When x is negative 2, the y number is way up here. When x is negative 2.5, the y number is way up here. When x is negative 2.9, the y number is way up here, and each successive x getting closer and closer to negative 3 from the right side the y numbers are graphing up here and the y numbers are going higher and higher so this one would have to say to infinity last one uh, let's look at x going to negative infinity alright so uh, as x goes to negative infinity, well certainly we're past the 3, we're past the 4. So x is going to negative infinity. And each time x gets smaller, negative 4, y is here. Negative 5, y is here. Negative 6, y is here. It's kind of like flattened out. It's leveled out on this number, y equals 4. So that's how we use the uh, arrow notation to communicate the different tail behaviors. We have tails at asymptotes. These are all asymptote tails, but we also have tails at the end behavior. So those tails I want you to be able to understand and communicate to me about with these uh, with this arrow notation.